Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Cove. My name's Missy. Here we like to do farmhouse decor on a Dollar Tree budget. Y'all, I've been away for a while, but I am so excited to get back and even more excited that I'm getting back into a five under five. We're gonna talk about that again in just a little while, but first we are just gonna jump right into the DIYs. This is a little bit shorter of a video, but I hope y'all enjoy it. DIY number one. For this DIY, this is super, super simple. I'm just going to take a wood round and some of the smaller beads from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to go all the way around the wood round with some hot glue and glue my beads down to that. Y'all, if I sound a little funny, please forgive me. I am a weak post-op. Um, I had some teeth that had to be removed. Uh, if y'all been watching my channel for a while, you know that that's something that I really struggled with. So right now I am in the healing stage and yeah, I'm just, I'm talking a little funny. So um, please forgive me for that. But after we get all of our beads put onto our wood round, then we're just going to take it and paint the entire piece with some chalkboard paint. Then I'm going to take one of these stickers from the Dollar Tree, just stick that right on there, and that's it. I'm going to put a little tumbling tower block on the back so that I can use that to hold it up. And y'all, super cute for a tiered tray, and you can do this any way that you want with any sticker with anything. So y'all, I am so excited to come back during a five under five challenge. My friend Emily and I from Farm Charm Chic Farm Charm Chic, sorry guys, started this uh, challenge three years ago and we started out with tiered tray decor. So this is just like full circle for me and I could not be happier. And of course the guest host this month <clears throat> is Craft Away With Me and they are both super amazing crafters. Y'all make sure you check out the playlist and go visit all of these amazing ladies that are part of this challenge so for diy number two i got this wood round with the beads attached at hobby lobby the price says it was 349 but i guarantee i got it with 40 percent off because that's how i always get my things from hobby lobby i go around the edge of it with some black chalkboard paint just because i want it to have a pretty good finished look and then i'm just taking my favorite buffalo check uh, vinyl from the Dollar Tree and I'm covering both sides of the wood round. Now on one side of the wood round when I get it finished I'm just taking this cow that I got. I'm pretty sure this came from something from the Dollar General and I'm going to glue that to one side. Then I'm going to take a piece of one of the calendars and Mod Podge that to the other side. I decided to go ahead and leave the beads natural because I love the look of it with the buffalo check. You can always change that out, paint the beads, whatever you want to do. But I think this is super cute for a tiered tray. I just love how this one turned out. So y'all know I've not been around for a while. Um, life has just gotten in the way. I am a daycare preschool teacher now, and my kiddos take up most of my time, so that's why you all have not seen me around much. But I'm trying to get back in the game, and I'm hoping and praying that I'm going to be able to put out more videos for y'all, but if you want to watch until then, Go, just go back and watch some more some of my older videos and get some more farmhouse inspiration. DIY number three, super simple again. I'm just taking one of these galvanized mason jar plaques from the Dollar Tree. I painted it with some cream colored paint and then I put a coat of Mod Podge on it because I thought this was going to go in my kitchen at first and wanted the Mod Podge just because I didn't want that paint to chip off of the galvanized part. Then I just made a decal that says milk, stuck that right to the side. I'm taking one of these little squares that I got in a pack from, I want to say Mighty Dollar. And I'm just going to cover this with some of this teal vinyl here and then cut off the excess. After that, I'm going to take a decal that I made that says, I think it says Farm Fresh. And we're going to stick that right on top, yep, Farm Fresh, right on top of this um, 
teal colored vinyl. After that, we are going to take some twine and I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it around the top part. I didn't even bother with painting the back of this. You could if you wanted to, but I, it was no big deal to me, so I didn't. We're just gonna wrap this around three or four times, glue it down. Then I'm going to take some more of that twine. I wrap it around my finger four or five times. Oh, I'm sorry. First, I'm putting on the Farm Fresh sign. Then I take some more of the twine, wrap it around my fingers four or five times, pinch it in the middle and tie it to make a bow. And then after that, I'm just going to make a super simple shoestring bow out of some of my favorite buffalo chick ribbon, again, from the Dollar Tree. And then we are just going to glue both of those bows right onto our milk um, jug, <laughs> milk jar, and that's it. Super simple. These are all so simple, and that's why this is such a short video. But I love it. Y'all make sure you let me know in the comments what you think about this one. Okay, moving right along. DIY number four. For this one, I'm taking some more of those squares. I believe I'm taking seven of them. And I'm just going to put them all in a row. And then I'm going to use some popsicle sticks to go ahead and glue them all together. I'm going to make a little sign for my tiered tray. So after I get them all just like I want them, then I'm just gonna take these popsicle sticks, glue those right to the back, then we're gonna flip them over. And this is like an ivory color paint that I have. I do two good coats. You can't really tell a huge difference, but I wanted a finished look to this. So there we are with the two coats. Next, I'm going to take my black chalkboard paint, go around the edges, and kind of smear it a little bit with my finger. Y'all know that, or if you're not new here, you know that I love the distressed farmhouse look. Uh, so I, you don't have to do this. I just do it because this is what my home is decorated in and it was going to be perfect for my tier, tiered tray. Next, I'm gonna take some letters that I made on my Cricut that say, that spell out welcome and we're just going to put one letter on each of the squares or tiles whatever you want to call them and for my o instead of using an o i made a little wreath sorry about the shaking here <laughs> i'm just trying to get used to being back on camera and filming while i'm doing a project and y'all that is it that's all this took way less than a dollar but I love it and I think out I think that it turned out super super cute and goes so well with the rest of the decor okay it's time for our final project DIY number five I think this one is my favorite so I'm gonna take six uh, tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree we're just going to glue them together into a frame one on top one on bottom and two on each side. And again, just going to do a square rectangle, whatever you want to call it, and get those all glued together into that. And this is just going to make a little frame. These are things that I like to do because they can be switched out so often with seasons or holidays or whatever, and they're so inexpensive to make. A pack of tumbling, tumbling tower blocks is $1.25, and I only use six. Then I'm going to paint this entire piece with some of my black chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to take two more of those squares, and I'm going to paint those with some of this ivory color. I just did one coat on, the, on both of these. Then we're going to put those squares, we're going to, you can see here, I don't even know how to explain this, put those together and again, like we did with the welcome sign, just secure them with a popsicle stick on the outside or on the back. Next, I'm going to take this local and grown piece from one of the calendars, Mod Podge it right to those squares right there. And then we are just going to glue that straight onto the back of our frame and then I'm just gonna decorate it with a few little uh, pieces of greenery that I had around and some little pit berries just to give it just a little bit more of a finished look and that's it y'all I know that these were super super simple projects this was I actually filmed this video believe it or not a month ago and I just never put it out but then when I found out that 
the five under five was going to be tiered trade decor i just had to join in so i i reached out to emily and i told her i said hey i have filmed this video and i see that your um five under five is going to be tiered trade decor would you mind if i got it was a part of it and of course emily as gracious as she is she is just the sweetest person ever she said no 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 that would be wonderful so i was so glad to be welcomed back into this five under five family because that's what i think of you all as and when i was doing youtube videos all the time my favorite was always always the five under five challenge so emily thank you so much for allowing me to come back in and be a part of this it was like being away from an old friend for a long time and just getting to come and catch back up with them and i've had such a blast and i'm so excited to have been a part of it y'all don't forget check out emily check out may check out the entire playlist you will not be disappointed. Hopefully, I'm going to see you all very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all come back now. You hear?